travelers and welcome to In Constant Misfavor. I'm Hime, your host, and today I'm going to take you to a country that is located in the four hemispheres and is the farthest ahead in the Greenwich Mean Time at plus 14 hours, which makes it the first country to ring in the new year. Insane. Also, in 1999, it had two islets that disappear below the sea level. Do you know what I'm talking about? No? I'm talking about the amazing Kiribati. So this nation is an island group and it's in the Pacific, in the region of Micronesia. Its capital, Tarawa, has most of the country's population. Even though the land surface is just 811 square kilometers, the islands are scattered on a surface of 3.5 million square kilometers. I know, insane, right? This country was claimed by the British and some islands by the USA until its independence in the 70s. Kiribati saw some of the worst fighting in the Pacific during World War II and because of the gun emplacement and the shipwrecks, it makes South Tarawa a popular destination between divers. So let me show you how to get there. shore I saw the bungalow and when they told me it was all mine I was super excited and the thing is I was just in Kiribati for one week so I didn't want to be moving around because getting to other islands can be hard and you can get flights to some of them but flights get cancelled so I didn't want to risk it so I opted for a homestay in North Tarawa Santa Faustina Homestay offer the perfect setting for me. I could stay with a family in a village, eat local food with them, and just make the most out of it and get to know them, their culture, and their history. So, let me show you. It's not about museums and sites. Though there is a really interesting museum in South Tarawa that is worth a visit. It's more about experience and getting immersed in their everyday life. So here I got to be a level for the primary school or learn to play a bunch of card games that I still like to challenge the market ladies. And snorkel ate a lot of breadfruit that if you haven't tried you're missing out and then i just swam in the most beautiful lagoon i've ever seen let me show you
towards the homestay. Make sure you feel comfortable and welcome and they make you part of their family. It's just beautiful, beautiful people. Thank you, Tequines, and thank you, Amond. It was a great experience. So there you go, this is Kiribati. I'm just a little bit of Kiribati, because as I said, it's such a big country. There's way more I want to explore there. So if you like this video, don't forget to follow and subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And as people say, I haven't been there, but it's on my list. So maybe you can add this to your list. See you next time, guys. Bye.